Hello and welcome back to Railway Empire. We are starting with what we saw on our cab ride. And that is, do we want to buy an orchard? Where is it? It's over near Wrexham. Probably then. I mean, that's within the scope of our building currently. I would call that fairly cheap as well. We could possibly hook that up and start making money on it too. So yes, we are going to buy that again. Uh, it, it leaves us a bit close on the old funds. We're over at Birmingham at the moment. I just thought we'd sit down there and see what happens. Our train we were riding on is this one. Yeah, the one that was full of cider. <laughs> there it is. Cider galore on our John Ball. We have enough for a spy, I think, so we're good. We're good if one shows up. Uh, we've got to hook up potatoes today or... Well, we don't have to, but I would like to. How are we doing on our task? We are well, well over halfway. We've got less than 15 to go, haven't we? Look at that. Brilliant. Question today. Is it going to be a gold tick? Well, a couple of questions. Is it going to be a gold tick? And what's next? <laughs> well, where are we going? Hopefully we'll have some money left over. We have a research point to spend. Nothing in the trains and locomotives division. Would that be correct? I guess it would be, wouldn't it? The research division. We need to go into company and constructions division. I like the idea of spending what little innovation points we get on these 100 ones. Uh, increases the transportation fee per freight car. Per freight car? By 8%. I will absolutely take that. Mechanical interlocking tower so we're making more on freight now that's uh, more income our money's going up really quickly how are we doing oh well there we go guys we are at the point where we can flip our bonds when this appears when we already have two and you get an extra one available that means your company value is uh, high enough to take out yet another look at that 812 thousand i'm gonna leave it a bit risky oh chief engineer are you any good chief engineer we we do have a chief engineer and considering we are building that looks better than oh well we're short on innovation points <laughs> that's a tough call isn't it depends you kind of swing some roundabouts there on the arrows you cheese off no, you, you are cheesed off by one person, uh, but you make another person happy. I'm not entirely sure if that will completely negate our uh, deficit we get with our, uh, with our character. I like the idea, I mean they're both level 1 anyway, I like the idea while we're building of cheaper buildings. It allows us to expand fast. And if we're getting more money, we could possibly... I mean, we could get a chief engineer eventually when once we've grown that uh, does this, that does the research points. However, if we're making a lot of money and expanding faster, then we can build universities, can't we? And we can get innovation points that way. But yes, this is a this is a possibility. If we didn't have any red arrows at all, I would have considered hiring uh, Dylan there, Dylan Harris. He's quirky as well. Meanwhile, Andrew's slow. I'm going to assume he's just not a very fast runner. That's what we'll go with. Oh, do you know what? This was the best idea I've ever had. To hold off on this, on our potato farm connection. We've just got a connection bonus. They're willing to pay us 200 grand to do something we're about to do anyway. Now, eventually, I would like, if we uh, just come into here and look for our warehouse, big warehouse, you'll see we can indeed go across like that and uh, take both of these. So we'll be able to remove two stations. What we got? Stoker, yes, please. Professor, not the chief engineer, unfortunately. Professor, we don't want to spend any of our innovation points. Although 244k for 90 innovation points is a little bit tasty, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm going to gamble. I'm going to do it. Let's rely on our spies. 606,000 in the bank. 
Also, do I connect this? Given how much we might have, it might be worth converting this into a warehouse. We can, uh, we can get rid of this connection then straight to here and then have that go into the into the warehouse it's certainly possible yeah because we could uh, take potatoes and meat well let's see let's see how much would a large warehouse cost us big warehouse 291,000 given everything we've just done I like this let's store meat in here uh, yes, we need, what do we need? Potatoes and meat, isn't it? There's our meat, and there's our potatoes. Max those out, done. Now, when we connect this, that should be that. <laughs> we can, what we can do is possibly have the central one connect in here. Oh, but look at that grade, that grade has ruined it. What we needed was that to be... Oh, does it really matter? Well, it does, doesn't it? Well, we'll see how it runs. We'll see how it runs. Uh, I would have preferred it not to do that. What I'm thinking of is having this run into here. This run along the side. And then that can branch off. Up here instead. We'll need to change how this goes as well. Did we get the connection bonus? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, we just got it there. Also, it means we can connect up into this track, heading off from uh, Turner Fattening there, our pig farm. And then we can get rid of this entirely once he's left and once he's uh, dropped off. You should be going... Well, we could send you now, couldn't we? Yeah, let's change you to head off. You just go. There we go. How's our task doing? 51.65. I like it. Do we have a freight train running between the two now? I think it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, this is the freight only. Reporter. I don't think we need the reporter, do we? Write a critical newspaper article about you. Yeah, do you have, our competitors are kind of... In fact, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're not on the map, are they? But they, this is good. This is good. I like this. What I was thinking of doing here is uh, having a a supply tower, not a supply tower, a, uh, a managed junction down this end. So, yes, I think that would be ideal. Would have it roughly where that tower is. Can we do that now? I don't know where you are. I think we can. Right, delete this all back. Delete that. Let's give this a go. That's branching off that way. We still need to go across. But what I'm hoping is we're at the point where we can... Where's our maintenance station? There it is. Yeah, it's only 194,000. If we put one down here and we put another up in this section, we can have all sorts of exchanging going on, can't we? Uh, it should uh, reduce traffic flow a little bit. This would need to be... Well, it doesn't really matter where this sits, does it? Yeah, if we just plonk you in there, you'd have this one that continues off as the main line. Yes. And connects in like that. That was 0%, so that was lovely. So that branches off that way. I mean, technically, I guess we could drift off that way as well. Then this one continues up and actually goes into our warehouse section here now i don't really like this grade but it's a very short distance isn't it so this is nice this is nice we have the water tower in the middle don't we the supply tower yeah i'm hoping they use that uh, if not we can still have supply towers on the way we'll stick you in there and there we'll get you some signaling down that way as well there we go. And what we can do here is we can connect that one into... Oh, not there. It moved at the last second. That one into that station. This track here goes into this track of that, that station. Then we have another station down there that goes into that side of the maintenance yard. Now what we can do is extend this is what I'm hoping. Where's our... 
station down here, just there. Get you all the way down there. We can delete this back from that point, and then we can connect you into there. Now, what we can possibly do here is have this branch off in two directions. That direction and that direction. I hope, anyway. And then we can uh, po possibly head off to Wrexham by drifting off again, just there. Or we could have uh, yet another maintenance yard to, to handle that from our fatten in there. Okay, I'm happy with that am i i'm happy with that at the moment let's run with that right you go there 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 yeah i think we could squeeze a little train in there why not I, it might be a bit risky we'll see how it plays out i love this though we've got our first warehouse on the map guys isn't that marvelous we need a bit of blocking there as well now once once he's left have you got there yet? I'm not sure if I delete this. He will lose his load. You would hope not. That's the only thing I'm unsure about. Well, I guess we could do it with... Well, you're almost there, aren't you? Let you get in. Are you... What are you crawling for? There's plenty of room in there. Look at that. Loads of room. How are we doing, guys? How are we doing on the task? 53 of 60. It's May 1832. We might be cutting it a little bit close. We're going to be changing his orders once uh, once we're all sorted. This is going to branch off in there. I think. Yes. Right. You drop off your goodies. A bandit? Well, yeah, we don't need bandits, do we? Don't need any of this business going on. Give me a spy, please. Right, you unload. Yeah, we need to upgrade our trains as well. Making plenty of money. Nearly 20k there. Now you've dropped off, I'm actually going to delete. Am I? Yes, I'm going to delete this. And we're going to branch in here instead. I know it's a bit of a scoot over. Do I want it there? I mean, it kind of works, doesn't it? You go in there. We can use that uh, supply tower. Whether we need to actually use that supply tower is debatable. Then you drift in, hopefully, into that point. That's a 9% grade. As long as we can get out the warehouse, I don't mind. Right, there we go. We've got that going on. I'm tempted to put an extra supply tower in here. So we're definitely using it where we can. Now, we're going to change your orders. Currently, you're going to scoot around there. But what we'd like you to do is actually go to the warehouse and not the cattle place. There we go. So you've got a new line now. Tick that. Uh, you're probably going to go on a journey, aren't you? Yes. You should find your way around there, I'm hoping. Oh, you're going to go all over the shop, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna go. You're gonna go on a journey and a half. What we could do now is uh, upgrade you. We could stick a stoker on if you make yes. People are happy. You get a stoker. What about a conductor that makes people happy? There we go. Although you make the conductor happy, which is actually not that useful. What we got here? Well, meat industry in Nottingham. I was actually thinking about hooking up Nottingham today. The problem we've got. If we do buy this industry, is we're stuck on the placement of our stations. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. It's a quirk in the game. If you buy an industry, say we bought our meat industry here, it won't move it. Let me just demonstrate for those that are, are not sure what I'm going on about. It will actually move the industry if the ai still owns it any of the ai own it however if you own it it's permanently there and you have to kind of build around it and it's really awkward i hope that isn't a thing in railway empire 2 which is coming out next year have we got uh no we haven't have we 
we don't have any signaling down here not that it's really required but yeah uh, well no i was gonna say we could scoot that way as well couldn't we to not well we could liverpool i wouldn't like to go through the warehouse but we could potentially have a maintenance yard down whichever side we feel like probably that side no oh, that would be messy won't it yeah we'd need that further down here perhaps yes we would so we can branch off that way and uh that way can we buy this potato farm i don't know how much this will cost it oh no that's most of our money spy i got so excited <laughs> i uh, I was thinking about grabbing my cup of tea. Nearly not my cup of tea flying. That's how much excitement a spy gives me. Dear, oh dear. Right, managed to drink my tea without choking on it. Come on, spy, give me something good. Who do I go for? I'm going to stick to my guns with Beatrix, I think. They're 88,000 now. They're getting pricey. I wonder if they go up each time you use them. That's rough. <laughs> if that is the case oh it might be or is it just the um based on your company value perhaps because bandits are possibly going up weren't they around the fifty thousand, or even lower than that mark yeah they were down in the 30s weren't they yes okay might be it might be based on your uh company value okay so we've got some stuff going on shall we hook up Nottingham, we, we could potentially go up into Manchester. On the outside, yeah, around the outside. There's our train. It's still highlighted. He's going around the houses. Do you know, I was supposed to uh, upgrade you, weren't I, to the John Bull. There we go. You get going. We've got the the other one that's just heading off again. No, that's uh, the clearing. We need the one that's heading off from here, don't we? You're empty. You're empty. I want to change your orders. Please go into, we want you to go into there instead, not the cattle place. There we go. You go in there, wait until full. That means we can delete this and hopefully reset him. We don't need this connection at all anymore. Get rid of you. Yes. Reset you. That's beautiful. You should appear in here now. Well, let's hope you do. There, there he is. There he is perfect right let's get a john bull on you as well because we get a decent discount on that a mediator spark arrester has been received i clicked on it hoping it'll take me to it is that in trains and locomotives spark arrester increase the reliability of your locomotives by 12 percent i love that we've got a couple more trains appearing up here firefly this one was cancelled after two, two, two seasons. <laughs> oh, that was the worst joke ever. They're getting worse. That was for those of you who know uh, the TV series Firefly. Was it cancelled after two seasons? So that's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's a two, two, two as well. Anyway, Derwent is the other one. Zero six zero. That looks to be our first dedicated a freight train. A great part of the oh. resistance we are facing seems to be caused by canal operators. Obviously, they are angry about the missed profits lost to our new lines. Do not be deterred. They are outdated. Keep going, and you will even convince the skeptics. Well, that's one for Wobbly Boater, isn't it? Canals are outdated, Wobbly. <laughs> According to that guy, anyway. But... Spoilers, I clicked on it because I was eager to see whether we got a gold tick. We did indeed get a gold tick and we have a new task. Which is something we're doing passively. And that is to get 800 cars of freight shipped to towns by 1836. I'm so happy we got another gold tick. We have an accountant. We can't dwell. We have things to do. Do we have an accountant? We do. Uh, detect oh cheaper locos successful auctions well uh we're gonna we're gonna stay with our cheaper locos because we're gonna be expanding our fleet did you do you, i don't really need one of those in my back pocket or do i do i you cost sixty three thousand 
the bid would have to be four times this, wouldn't it? More than four times, which would take us to 120, uh, 126, 200 and lots, 250 something. Uh, this is, so is there anything we could buy for more than 250,000 like meat? Now that would be a big chunk, wouldn't it? We'd save off that. Plus what we, as it goes up again. Is it worth it though? That's the question. How much would that? See, this one's 250k. I'll tell you what, should we try it? No, because that, you're just breaking even, Grand. What is even the point of you doing that? <laughs> I might buy this regardless. Do you know, we've got so much money. Let's go for it. Uh, it's 200, 245k. We might have saved a little bit with that other lady, but uh, we should get a bit of a discount on that because of our character's trait. So uh, we'll just keep expanding our freight, won't we? Our mixed services should also count towards this. We're going to build, what was that? What was that green thing? I saw a, a, a green something. What on earth was that? Did you see that? Oh, there it is. It's up here. Is it a connection bonus? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. Into Hull. Maybe. Well, we just need a little station. I would like to connect up Hull as well. We can have a, a terminus, couldn't we? Should we do Hull then? It's going to be awful to get across here. But it should be doable. Famous last words. How on earth do we sort that out? I'd like to go over the top if possible with a main line and possibly branch underneath. Uh, or, or we could go over the top. Well, do, do you know? Yes. Well, let's set up. Where's our uh, Where's our terminus? Terminal station. How much do you cost? 291k is it? We've got plenty of money. We're going to get some back as well if we set this up. We'll have two termini here. So the one connecting to Leeds needs to go straight across, doesn't it? Up into the oh, whereabouts into Leeds. I guess that one there. Obviously, it can't just go straight like that. That won't work. But we can potentially go round that way if we raise that up a little bit. That would have to be a lot of it, wouldn't it? Oh, but we could possibly go underneath then with a main line. I know it's a big, big old bridge. It does take off the grade a little bit. If we can go underneath, let's just experiment. What we'd need is a train station up here anyway, which we're, we're going to be uh, setting up at some point. I guess we'll just do it with a small train station. I'd just like to experiment to see if we can go across. No, we sort of can. Yeah, we sort of can go across, can't we? I don't like the 10% uh, the grade. I'm wondering if we can't get that better. It's something to do with where we branch under, isn't it? Well, we can sort of head off that way. I saw 2%, did you? There. Oh, look at that. That mess there. I love that. I half want to put that in now. Right, what we can do then to get across with the main line is take it here and then branch the other one off up that way. Oh, I love that. Yes, that will work. Right, but that's not what we're doing right now. We're just going to connect that into there. Get that back. Get that deleted. We will probably start up more cloth anyway. We need to finish this line off. Uh, There's a very expensive line, this one. And then we can connect that up. But we got uh, a lot of money, didn't we, back for that. So it's, it's sort of paid for itself. We'll have a supply towel there. And then our one heading down to the south is going to branch off there. That's going to technically be connecting up to the East Coast Main Line. So this is going across the top. Of the East Coast Main Line. What do we do here? We could have a Manchester Leeds Hull. And then we could have a... Uh, yeah, no, that's that's good, right? Manchester Leeds Hull. 
trains. A sort of a cross-country affair going on. Yeah, I like it. We'll do that. We'll change this one into that. Is that Leeds to Manchester? So after after Leeds, no, after Manchester, you're going, no, what are you doing? Don't keep swapping them around. After Manchester, go back to Leeds, then to Hull. Then we're back to Leeds again. That should be spot on, shouldn't it? Yeah, and then we'll go automatic on this one. No, I, just, I tell you what, we might as well then go passengers and mail only for that one. And uh, yes, I know we might have lost some goodies on there. That is the express, isn't it? And this one, right, yes, drop off your goodies and then we'll change you. As soon as you are paid, right, and then we'll change you to after Leeds, then Man... No, don't swap it around. You did that last time. After Manchester, back to Leeds, then to Hull. And that should be good. And we're going to put you onto passengers mail only, since you only have mail and passengers anyhow. Then what we can do is we can set up a new rail line to do the same thing, but be freight. And we'll branch into here, actually. So let's uh, get rid of that. Yes, whatever that is, please. Seat upholstery, quick, take it. And again, we should get a discount because it is an auction for some goodies. No one else is bidding. None of our competitors are bidding. No, there we just straight up got that, didn't we? There we go. Uh, how are we doing on our freight so far? 66 of 8 hundred it seems like a long way away but we're just going to plow through this no point swapping these loans over until we need them right what did i want to do i wanted to connect up a new line down here and it's going to be a bit tricky to get in up this end but we're going to make it work somehow if we go there and there we can get this as close as possible grab it grab it Oh, there we go. Got it. I don't think you can hold shift or anything like that to, uh, yeah, do finer movements or prevent it from snapping. But if we do that, there we go. 2% grade is okay. Bring that out a little bit. Yes. Get you in. And then what we'll do is we'll get this double tracked down this end and have our freight head off down there. And, uh, yeah, that should be good, shouldn't it? You are going that way, and you are going that way. We already have a supply tower, and we'll have a signal there. This route in the middle... Oh, come on, get on there. It's going to be the one that heads off to Nottingham. That way. Yeah, that's going to be the Nottingham train. It's going to curve round the uh, the sawmill there and pop into... Well, it's our sawmill now, isn't it? Yeah, and pop into Nottingham that way. I guess we could link up here as well since we're heading down that way. Yes, that would be perfect. Then we branch off to Peterborough. The East Coast Main Line would be more avoiding Nottingham. It goes to Newark, doesn't it? Not Nottingham. Uh, is it both? Is it just Newark, isn't it? The East Coast Main Line. Anyway, I, I digress. We have we have new stuff set up, don't we? So what I'd like to do is now set up that freight train. It's going to go and do these three, and then head back like that. And this one's going to be freight only. See, and that should give us our uh, freight distribution. Uh, you're going to take some cider, which you should take to Leeds. What is Leeds wanting to make? I can't remember. You are wanting to make barley. No, <laughs> no, you need barley and you need wood, lumber. So we might be able to sort that out. Oh, yes. Do we want to put in Leeds and Manchester, Liverpool? Can we afford them? How much do these cost? Universities. So we get innovation points. I, I say we put one in Manchester. So there's Manchester University. Oh, where money just went. Well, that's okay, actually. We're good. We're good. We should be able to afford a another one of these freight trains. 
but we don't need them just yet. I'd like to possibly add another Manchester to Hull, even though it says Leeds to Hull. Go on, go on, I'll do it. It's 48k. Where you go. You're waiting to join, that's fine. Guys, our network is growing. We're going to need to expand this, aren't we? We can rotate our bonds, can't we? Yeah, we can still do this. Nearly a million. Look at that. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be pleasant. Uh, even more now. Yeah, I would. As soon as we can afford this, we'll upgrade it. We, we're going to need one hundred and seventy-four thousand to upgrade that. So we'll do that next time out. We have a lot going on. How are we doing on a task? We are one hundred over one hundred of eight hundred. That is our next task. That's going up so quick. It's lovely. We'll leave it there, guys. Well, that was a busy one today, wasn't it? Goodness me. We got lots of expansion done. Uh, quite a few more lines. We're now connected to Hull. We got a gold tick. And we are a big chunk towards our next task, which uh, hopefully will be another gold tick. We've got to start heading London bound, haven't we? Once we've hooked up, uh, finished with Hull. We'll connect up Nottingham and start thinking about supplying some freight around to the Birmingham area, the Midlands, and we'll get all that done. This is going to take us onto our massive uh, viaduct between Leeds and Hull. Is there one okay, in real life? I'm not entirely sure. But it will be going across the East, well, our version of the East Coast mainline anyway. But yes, we're, oh, I love that view. It's beautiful. It's ve it is very UK. I'm going to keep saying that. This... Well, I guess this is possibly UK-ish, isn't there? There are a few viaducts, not quite like this. But, uh, yes, lots of rivers down there. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.